passion. When, when we talk passion, it leads me nicely to, to your nephew because, Amor, we talked about Floyd at length a week or so ago. When we talk passion, Jeff, your nephew, Floyd, is someone who embodies it all. He talks about hard work and dedication. He doesn't just talk it, he lives it. He's the very embodiment for that mantra. He works like an absolute dog, day in and day out, to ensure that no one's getting his own. Talk to us about what you saw in him as a youngster that stood out for you. Well, I mean, it was instilled in him. Um, his dad pushed him. Um, I mean, pushed him on in every way possible. And even when he was a kid, he was like maybe eight years old, he would be running like five miles in the neighborhood and people thought that he was crazy because they didn't see his father driving a car. They just saw a little kid just running all through the city. And basically, um, now those same people <laughs> became fans of his yeah. and realized that he wasn't crazy, that you know he was on his way to greatness. And that's, and that's what happened. Money and fame usually affects boxers when they make enough of it or when they become famous enough. We've seen numerous cases of high profile boxers get to a certain level, earn an awful lot of money, become extremely famous, and then their career starts to dip. For Floyd, the money was clearly not the driving factor, even though he's Floyd Money Mayweather, because he would still go to the gym at three, four in the morning, he would still work harder than anyone else. So why did he not, why did the money, the wealth and the fame not soften his desire to become even better, do you think? Well, because it was never about money. It was about being the actual best fighter ever to put on a pair of gloves. I mean, when Floyd was five or six years old, I mean, that's how young he started. He started so young. And everyone in my family, where he's at today, we all expected it. It's not like it just happened. This is what we expected. And so basically, there will be people that anyone within, you know, with an ear's reach, we would tell them, you know, that he's going to be the greatest fighter ever, that ever lived. And wow. to this point, I mean, he's proved it in terms of his numbers and everything else. I mean, of course, I mean, when you put in, when you, when you put in something beyond that's not related to boxing, it's different. But when you when you talk ex nothing about boxing, only boxing, Floyd, by hands down, is, is the best fighter ever. Phenomenal insight there. The fact that you guys, the family, were saying to him at a young age, you will be the greatest, and he's gone on to do just that. 4001, questions are pouring in for you guys. We're going to come back. The guys are in with us until 8 o'clock this evening. Solo Rupani for now, as your news headlines.